Okay, I came up with a new circuit today. I put a lot of stuff together uh, in one big pot and stirred it around and came up with a, what I call the neon charger here. And it uses a neon right here that I believe uh, triggers this capacitor which pulse charges the charge battery. Now it's an interesting circuit. It's a combination of about three things I've learned. It's a jewel thief, a coil, uh, two identical windings on a ferrite uh, core. It's using a Darlington pair, a uh, small transistor, that's the one we used in the uh, um, SEC project, the SEC project, and then right over here is a TIP3055 which was used in a bunch of the other projects, and that's the inductor coil that we used in the SEC, and then uh, I just winged it and came up with something like this. I was trying to get a, a fluorescent to light off, but it didn't. But this neon thing ended up being a really interesting charger. Now I've got this set up um, with 9 volts. Now this will run anywhere from 3 volts up to 12 volts and charge. And I've got this set up here with a little 9 volt rechargeable battery. Which, By the way, these are very handy, I found out. It was kind of expensive but they're nickel metal hydride rechargeable and for these kind of experiments a real winner. Uh, they, they work on almost everything I, I build so that was a good one. Uh, there's my uh, amp cross on 3 milliamps right now. Uh, there's the waveform. Looks like a Bedini to me. You know, standard H wave. If you move this down these spikes are just off scale. These are the back EMF spikes that uh, you get on this kind of a circuit. Now over here I've got a 50 volt uh, 1000 microfarad cap right there. I'm going to show the voltage climb up on that. And of course uh, what you'd be using on this side is another one of these uh, uh, batteries like this. Or whatever you wanted to use. 3 to 12 volts is what it runs at. Now there's the neon going right now. And I believe what the neon's doing is it's causing this uh, capacitor to discharge basically at a very high rate. That's a very uh, fast cap there. And what this does I believe is trigger it to run the charge into this uh, side here. And that's what I did right here. Now I, I had earlier in my experience encountered these uh, neon discharge, cap discharge circuits. But this uh, this is the first time I put it to use. Okay, Let me uh, un undo the capacitor here and uh, watch the cap voltage climb. There goes cap voltage. Now on this system here you need uh, you need 13 volts on the back end to make the charging happen on a 9 volt battery. So that's what we're looking for here is when this hits 13 that indicates that there's enough push on the back end to make charging happening. Um, there it comes. Yeah, I was dinking around trying to do a Slayer thing with the uh, fluorescent light using this uh, AV plug, and it didn't work, so I just kind of started fiddling around with it and came up with this thing here. I'll let that charge on up some more, but yeah, it's uh, it's just a combination of a bunch of things. Uh, this is the inductor that's the 10 uh, micro Henry that uh, we can wound, or I just bought one that was 10 micro Henry. That's a... Uh, the power transistor, the TIP3055, that's the little MP transistor we used in the SEC project, Dr. Stifler SEC. That's the jewel thief coil right there. It's just a one-to-one -one transformer I got out of an old uh, VCR. Uh, everything else pretty darn simple except for this part here. It's first time I had a neon go off uh, like this uh, using a 9-volt battery at a 30 milliamp draw. And like I say, that's, uh, that's 30 milliamps, folks. That's not very much. And uh, here's my cap. Cap's up to 23 volts and going still. And if you're curious if there's any energy in there, watch this. Here we go. There's the energy. And it's still, still running along. And there's the voltage climbing up again. And there's the waveform. Anyway, just thought I'd share this with you. This is uh, the lid motor neon <laughs> charger, I called it. Using a little neon, I believe, as a trigger for that cap.